Today is uh, Thursday in Jerusalem. We're here in our local supermarket in the neighborhood of back in South Jerusalem. This place is called Super Deal. It's a relatively small supermarket, popular with English speakers, and we're just checking out, uh, getting our last supplies before Pesach, and seeing, making this video to show you guys what a supermarket in Israel uh, looks like right before the Pesach holiday starts. You'll see before Pesach comes all the kind of Pesach staples filling up the supermarket shelves. For instance, we have these panko crumbs, matzo meal based products. Um, what you will not see is chametz. So even within the selection of chips, for instance, you'll see that the salt and vinegar crisps, crisps were discontinued and other products. So generally in Israel, all the products have um, some kind of a kosher certification. It can be parv, basari or chalavi. And what you'll see before Pesach is that the certifications are all, it says here in Hebrew, kasher la Pesach. That means it's kosher for Pesach. In fact, it says also here in English. So all the products are flipped out in the weeks before Pesach so that by the time that it comes to uh, do your last minute shopping or even for that matter, shop during the holiday of Pesach, the intermediate days of Cholomoed, everything's already turned over. What they do as well is they kind of blank off shelves. So for instance, you're not supposed to see chametz um, during Pesach. So you do this in your own home. Typically people use kind of, you know, tarpaulin, this kind of material. And that's why when you go into a supermarket before Pesach in Israel, you'll see all these random sections that are covered off. So in the chips aisle, everything. So this is another interesting instance where you'll have products that are still the whole year, like these Doritos that says in Hebrew, uh, Doritos, it's a local franchise from Elite, which is a big food company here. Uh, but they have these special wrappers here. And these say that they are kosher la Pesach. So sometimes you'll see the same products, just different specifically kosher la Pesach varieties, or they're kosher la Pesach the whole year, and then they just add a little label to show that. Or you'll see specific products that appear on the shelves just before Pesach. So this is where the supermarket has bread usually. And instead of bread, we're seeing the last remaining bread because bread is definitely in the off list. It's chamez before Pesach. Instead of that, we'll see matzah for sale. I want to actually thank the supermarket because the manager did give me permission to film, which is super nice. Not all places are happy to have show what they're doing. Uh, so it was really nice that this supermarket did. Pesach in Israel, it's not so difficult um, because the fact that you can rock up to your local supermarket. When I grew up in Ireland, we didn't have anything like this. There is no, there is one supermarket in the whole country with a kosher for Passover section you had to either order from them or visit physically that supermarket. Here you can just walk up, this is our local grocery store in Baca. And you have your whole selection of products. You have hummus, matbucha, which is a tomato based dip. But everything you know is uh, kosher for Passover. You don't need to worry, you don't need to ask. The only difference is that some Jews will eat what are called kidney oats during Pesach and some won't. So for instance, hummus, which is clearly based on chickpeas, would be off limits for Ashkenazi Jews who observe the prohibition on eating, not eating kidney oat, which are generally uh, small things. But Sephardic Jews will eat these. So Sephardim have a wider option on Pesach. They'll eat hummus, they'll eat rice, they'll eat all sorts of things that the uh, Ashkenazi Jew Jews won't. But there are some, some dips here that would fall into the category of they are not kidney oats. So everybody has something to eat. So, you know, I always focus on the priorities. So what alcohol can you have during Pesach? Well, the first thing is um, lots and lots of wine in Israel is kosher le Pesach. So we can see here we have white, red, rosé. So that's kind of what people do. I generally will enjoy a bit of wine over Pesach because the intermediate days of Cholom Oed are kind of semi-festive days. You're not really supposed to work. So we'll have friends over, maybe have some wine with dinner. Um, now, besides wine, there's a couple of other things that are commonly kosher for, Peso for Passover. And one of those is this uh, spirit called Arak here. And Arak is a kind of Middle Eastern and East based spirit. And that's commonly kosher for Pesach. The other thing you'll, you'll see a lot of is uh, potato vodka. So specifically vodka that's brewed from potatoes. That's commonly kosher for Passover. And we have here other options. We can see lots of fizzy drinks. Clearly, certain things are... Uh, do not have to be certified kosher for Passover in the supermarket, such as these uh, these rolls. So that's it. There's lots of options, and we're just doing our uh, 
final shop here. This beer is for sure not kosher for Passover. It'll be cleared out before uh, Pesach begins. But yeah, there's lots of uh, lots of products here, and lots of people are doing their shopping just before the holiday begins here in Israel tomorrow. And the key thing to have during Pesach, of course, is matzah, and this too is for sale in the local grocery store. So you can either buy matzah in these kind of large multi-packs this pack contains five or you can just buy it pack by pack um, as well as that you'll find different types of matzah catering to different dietary needs so we have here matzah meal with spelt oats and different varieties for people you know um, who can't tolerate gluten so there is for instance we have some whole spelt matzah that clearly does have gluten but in the bigger supermarkets you'll find matzah made out of oats as i said and stuff that is really gluten free um, so yeah, there's a lot of different options here in the matzah department. In addition to Pesach this year in Israel is what's called Shemitah. Shemitah occurs every seventh year, biblically ordained ordinance only observed in Israel during which the land has to lie fallow. So what that, that specific certification is attesting to is the fact that all the produce you can see here um, has been taken in accordance with the mitzvah of Shemitah. So we have an in in interesting uh, confluence of holidays observances in Israel this year. Additionally, the supermarkets will stock special products. So this is one of them, horseradish, because it's one of the key components of um, the Seder plate. So this is something you won't see in Israel during the year, and it's probably an unusual thing to find even in most supermarkets. So everything you need for your Seder plate uh, you can find here at your local grocery store.